Welcome to day 8 of my 100 days of Webflow challenge. Today we're going to learn how to build a custom cursor like this. And it's going to be all blending colors. It's going to be super cool, super interactive. So without further ado, let's jump to it. First, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you have any comments. And stay tuned for this journey of 100 days of Webflow. Let's go. Alright, so first things first. We're going to add a div block on top of the page. We're going to call this div block cursor wrap. Cursor wrap is going to be display flex center center. It's going to have a width of 100 SVW and 100 SVH. That's view width, view height. So it takes full of the page. It's going to have position fixed. So it's always there on top of the page and it's going to be set to full. The Z index of cursor wrap will be 9,999. And the cursor pointer will be set to none so that there is no cursor pointer on this div block, which is all over the page. So no cursor pointer on the page. Now inside the cursor wrap, we'll need to add another div block and it's going to be called cursor. Now this div block is basically our cursor. We're going to set the background to white. We can just write white here. Actually, we're going to set the radius to 100% so that it's a circle. And then we're going to set the width to 1 REM and the height to 1 REM. Wait, what happened? 1 REM. Okay, so now it's a small dot. Now this is basically our cursor. Now we need to animate it. So to, in order to animate it, we go to interactions. We go on page trigger and add a new mouse move in viewport. We select an action and add a new animation. We're going to call this cursor. So on the X axis, we'll need to move the cursor. So we'll select move, we'll go to the X axis on 0%, we're going to do minus 50, 50 SVW, let's say SVW, let's stick with that. And then on 100% is going to be 50 SVW, not minus. And if we preview, we see that it's moving along with the mouse cursor on the X axis. We'll do the same on the Y axis. So here it's minus SVH and here it's 50 SVH. If we click live preview, we see that it's moving with the mouse. So now the, the problem is when we click on buttons, it's not clicking because the cursor wrap element is all over the page. So we'll need to fix that. So we'll add an embed. So you can just press control E and add an embed. So select the cursor wrap or the cursor itself, add an embed, embed. And then write this custom code, which I'll provide for you in the link down below. So you can check it out there. So we're going to target the cursor wrap. And then it's going to say pointer events. And we set that to none. So now if we check, you can see that it's moving along and there is no cursor pointer and it can't click the buttons. One more thing, we'll want this cursor to blend in with the rest. So we'll say on the same under pointer events, we'll just say mix blend mode. And we'll set that to difference. And now if we save and close and preview, we see that Wait, there's something wrong. Blend is spelled differently. So that's why I always copy and paste your codes. Now it's there and you see that it blends in with the rest of the colors. Now if we publish, we can see that our cursor is blending in with the colors. It's moving with the mouse. There is no mouse or pointer and everything is custom here. And you can always add more features like the circular text that I showed you in the beginning or other features that you like and this will help improve your you, know, you can you can put your creativity here and it will help improve what you can do with this feature thank you for watching this video I really hope I taught you something here please subscribe like and comment if you have any comments stay tuned for day 9 tomorrow and see you tomorrow